What's going on guys? Scott with Turner Firearms. And Ryan with Shooter Media Outlet. So this has taken a long time for us to culminate this review because I wasn't initially sold on this product without running it through its paces and getting out to the range quite a bit. So what we have today to show you guys is the brand new Walker Ear Pro, they're the silencer earbuds. So you got to uh, test them on the range the other day. What do you think? I was extremely skeptical at first, especially with something that small, you know, to really hold up and be better than, you know, I have a pair of walkers that I use. Mm -hmm. um, and I gotta say, I, I was actually impressed. Right on. So I'm in the same boat you are. Uh, I've been test trialing these now for about a month and a half. Um, we, the reason why we actually started getting into this was uh, customers were coming into the store. A lot of them were brand new shooters and then a lot were very seasoned shooters saying, you know, what's a good ear pro at this point? Because um, obviously you have the traditional ear muffs or you have these guys right here, which everyone has. Right. And we really couldn't think of what was you know, a really well-rounded ear pro mm -hmm. at the time, especially for like, you know, talking about price points and everything else. Um, one issue that a customer brought up to me was, you know, running the earmuffs when he'd go to shoulder for his AR or his hunting rifle, it would start edging up and then he was, you know, getting blast in the ear. And I've run into that problem too. I think we all have, yeah. yeah. Especially if you're going into like, you know, SBR world or, you know, running an AR pistol where you're really tucked close. Yep. Um, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to keep earmuffs where they need to be. Uh, the other issue that you run into as well is with ear pro that's you know not something i mean these guys are, are digital enhancements so you, they're actually electronic which i think is really cool it is so i mean you can look at the impact headphones and all the other ones that come along that line and that's where we want to see what measured up with this right um so th like i was uh, saying the other big thing about these guys are when you're on the range you know you're talking about being able to communicate, interact, mm -hmm. verbal commands. If you're out there training or you're doing three gun competition, whatever it might be. Yeah, the RO, you can hear. Can them. you really hear effectively? Because I, I can't tell you how many times I've taken my headphone off to try and talk to somebody and then somebody else in the background just was firing off, you know, doing a mag dump. And it's like, holy crap, I'm trying to throw the, the ear pro back on. And I'll be honest with you, I was the biggest advocate. I mean, I, I don't know if it was laziness or what it might have <laughs> been, but I just kept my my uh, headphones, my my big foam my big muffs <laughs> yeah forever and then I saw this come across my table from one of the dealer portals I'm like all right I gotta check this out at least for my sanity and for you know my customers sake to be able to offer new means for right. like, good ear uh, good ear and hearing protection so uh, first off I mean they come in this neat little compact carrying case if you flip this guy open it has the inlays uh, that are cut out for the earbuds and then a little pouch here to put all the extra attachments and goodies. And then this is um, this actually holds for the additional sizes for mm -hmm. the earbuds. You know, we we both talked about this. Your ears are a different size than mine. Um, my biggest thing that I hated about earbuds, especially if you're running with like an iPhone, they get uncomfortable really, really fast. Yeah, they do. So that was my biggest issue. And that's why I said to you when I, I told you I got these is I'm so afraid I'm going to be on the range for five, six hours doing whatever and they're gonna start hurting and I'm gonna switch out anyways. Right. That hasn't been the case. These are probably one of the most comfortable form-fitting earbuds I've ever come across. In the world of earbuds, yeah. I, I have to agree with you 100%. Yep, and you know, like we said, you know, all ears are different. They come with three different types of uh, sizes from small, medium to large. And they're just like regular, you know, foam ear plugs where you, you know, roll them in your fingers and stick them in, they expand. But they also took it a step further and they gave extra sets of these too. So they actually fit around the yep. inner ear. So it really holds it and keeps it, you know. Oh, it was locked in place for yeah. sure. Because, I mean, we did a couple of drills where we were, you know, moving, running, and all this other stuff. Yeah. And they weren't falling out. They felt comfortable. I wasn't, you know, getting extra ringing or any of that. So the next thing that they come with, um, this is something I'm really happy about is the batteries. So these guys run the number 10s there, and we'll get a little closer to this, but these are just like little baby batteries. They come with four of them. Each earbud only takes one a piece and they hold up to 80 hour battery life. That's nice. And I started tracking and documenting how long I've been having them on and so far they have held up true. Um, the next thing that I really like too is I was always afraid I would lose my earbuds. Mm -hmm. I always keep them in my, my battle belt and 
always in the case, so I'm very cautious with them. But they actually have these little guys here to kind of loop them around so they stay together. So that's a nice little addition too. And then they have a little cleaning tool to be able to brush off. And then this little end here, the little hook, actually can help assist installing the battery. And we'll get a close up of me actually breaking one of these down and putting a new battery in. Very, very simple. Um, another thing to note is they only come in black right now. But they also, but their design is kind of a, like a carbon fiber. Yeah, finish, I was going to say it so does I, have a. I think yeah. it looks really sleek. Uh, it's very prominent, easy to use. There's little switches on and off, and when you turn them on, they make the chiming noise. So you definitely know that they're working. Yep. And then they have a very, very prominent volume dial. Yeah. So these guys, um, you know, we were talking about that too. I have it on the lowest setting possible because how crystal clear they are. Yeah. I mean, their dynamic range is pretty impressive I'd say it was um, just having on the lowest setting you I mean you can we're outside you could hear the leaves you know rustling I, at one point I heard my stomach rumble so that was kind of weird <laughs> so <laughs> it definitely picks up a whole lot and uh, the design in particular too it's just it prominently says if it's the left ear or right ear because I was a complete idiot and was trying to put it into the wrong ear and I was like oh wait just look at the uh, look at the inscription and it says what size you have on here as well for whether it's small, medium, or large. So talking apples to apples, this is my biggest comparison is how do they stack up against other ear pro? When you start looking at the noise reduction rating, mm -hmm. what does it stack up to? So we pulled these guys off the shelf here for their noise reduction. This is their Walker um, low profile earmuffs. And these guys rock out at 22. And the foam guys, if you really jam them into your ears, 33. So these guys clock in at 25. I'm pretty impressed with that. Right. Now, if you start getting into some of the uh, the impact headsets or the walkers he's talking about, you're starting to get into the world of like 70, 80. Right. But these are just fine. I deal with tinnitus on a regular basis from you know being around gunfire so often and machining everything else that I was worried how these would, you know, interfere with that. Right, and I mean, does it affect it? I mean... No, I mean, I, I really didn't have any ringing of the ear afterwards. I mean, I was on the range all day with you with these and yeah. a bunch of other range days after, and there's no ringing issues. So I'm really impressed with that. Um, for the price point that you're looking at, they are brand new to the market. They haven't been out that long, so they're still I'd say a little salty. They are. Um, a lot of the companies that you'll see, I have saw some uh, you know, circular ads from Cabela's, I've seen stuff from uh, you know, just a bunch of other companies, Midway USA. Mm -hmm. They're right around the price point of anywhere from $179 all the way up to $200. And some incorporate free shipping, some don't. Once we start getting these stocked in store a little bit more and can get a better allocation on them, we're going to try our best to drop these guys down close to $155. Is that in store or online? In store. In store, okay. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely wiggle room in play with the uh, the price of them. I don't know if it's a detriment to be that expensive, but I really like the fact that I can always have them on. They're not obstructive. I right. can operate any platform of firearm that I want, not worry about it. Yeah, there was no obstruction at all. Running, you know, rifle, carbine, pistol doesn't matter. Yep. You know, obviously not with a pistol, but you know, I guess another thing to note, something that I, I really enjoyed when I was using them was how fast, you know, we, we kind of discussed this, but but how fast after the report of the, the pistol, rifle, mm -hmm. whatever, it comes back to be able to hear, you know, oh, what he's saying. Yeah, in, in between shots, even if I was doing a, rap, a string of rapid fire, it's that fast, Yeah, you know. And so. even with the impacts and the walkers, I mean, the other walkers, yeah, it's a little bit more of a delay. There is. And if you're doing training exercises, you're, you know, doing things that are crucial on the range every little second counts to be able to be able to hear that and communicate mm -hmm. effectively so you're right that's an excellent point to bring up on that but overall i'm a fan of them you know i think for the price point i'm still fine with it and i know a lot of other people are especially if you're getting into the competition shooting world and you want to be able to be more mobile and not have mm -hmm. everything jostling around um i think they're i think they're excellent and being at the 25 uh, noise reduction rating it's pretty good, I think, if it's, you know, out, outperforming. Muffs. Yeah, the yeah. muffs. So, yeah, we'll get a close-up here of all the goodies, and uh, we'll show a basic installation of the battery, and we'll call it a day.
but overall, happy with the walkers. Same. So, the installation, as I said, super, super simple. You're gonna remove the foam tip, and you're gonna take off the sleeve here for your ear, and it opens up to this little guy right here, which is the door that opens up into the battery. You can use your fingernail, or if you wanna use their tool, you can slide inside here. And it's a swinging door that opens up. You pull your original battery out, put the new battery in, and close the door. It's literally that simple. So then just after the door's closed up, line up the little hole there, slide the sleeve back on, put the foam tip back on, turn it on to make sure that it is properly functioning with the battery and you're good to go.